Hello, it's Wednesday the 18th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So Hugh Pill's been on, uh, the Bank of England chief economist, fears that wage growth is still too high, making it difficult to bring inflation back under control. That was as average earnings fell to 8.1% yesterday. Despite being a smaller drop than Pill would have wanted, the rate of increase was slightly lower than forecast and has been widely welcomed as a positive progress. It suggests that interest rates may have peaked and where earnings were above prices for the first time in about two years, it also suggests that the cost of living squeeze should be starting to ease. There is hope. Swati Dingra has also been on. Uh, the dovish independent member of the MPC feels that the fall in wage growth shows a softening economy. She thinks that this confirms that rates are indeed now restrictive and that supports her view that no further rate hikes are necessary. She feels that they should focus more on promoting growth now, even if inflation remains stubbornly high above target, something no doubt they'll discuss in detail at the next MPC meeting. We have inflation data due out today. Uh, PPI producer prices should give an update on what is due to come further down the line, but more focus will be on CPI data. Headline inflation is forecast down at 6.5%, down from 6.7% last month, and that should be enough for the MPC to pause at their, again at their next meeting. It could also be enough to see sterling weaken further, so keep an eye on that one. Yesterday we fell marginally against the dollar, down to a low of about 121.30. Over in the US, uh, whenever a soft landing looks like it could be on the cards, the data finds a way to challenge that hypothesis. Retail sales grew by 0.7% in September, suggesting that shoppers are still the backbone of economic growth. Uh, the downside of this is that it does present a challenge to driving inflation lower. Indeed, we may see the Fed consider another rate hike at their next meeting in reaction to this. The recession risk remains for the early part of next year, but most see this as an edge case scenario uh, and the economy could likely handle another rate hike before Christmas. Um, and there'll be plenty of debates about that at the next Fed meeting in a fortnight. In the market, the dollar is still reactive to events in the Middle East. Uh, Biden is due to visit today, uh, kicking off in Tel Aviv, where he'll be briefed on Israel's next moves uh, before visiting Amman and Cairo as well. Uh, the dollar index is fairly volatile at the moment. It's a bit choppy. It topped out yesterday around 106.55. Um, we kick off this morning around 122.05 against the dollar. We're about 115.25 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 105.90 on the open. That's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.